So I told that Bhillo Mangal is Sadha. His guru is oh, a person who can uh, tell that Hari Katha. That is why I told it is very rare. Good. Some, some, some Jeevas will go into Sakya mood, some will go in Dasi mood. You said some Jeevas may go in Nirvisheshwadi mood. But if the old Jiva Swarup is a Krishna Nitya Das, is it, how is it possible that any Jivas can go towards Nivishesh Gyan? Oh, it may be. Because from the original line, if they are attracted to this world and they are in the society and Sangha of uh, Nivishesh Vadi, who are offenses in the lotus feet of Krishna, then they will make offenses and thus oh, they will, their uh, transcendental form will be like oh, Nibishesh. Right. But originally they have a they have. By constitution and other. But now it will be finished. Like demons kill them? If she, if you will put in and fire, what will be? Not sprout. Not a sprout or he will burn to ashes. So even a Jeev has concentration of something. But doing offenses, offenses, oh, they will be like Nirvisheshvad. But if they are, as Gita tells, Parabhaktim Kikya. Bhavate. If they are not offensive, Hmm? They are in line of Sukhdev Goswami or Sanat Sanandan Sanat Kumar. They are not offensive, they are Harikatha hearing. They may go to the council of Srila uh, Sukhdev Goswami. They may go to Rupa Goswami. They may come to any devotee's council and gradually they can change. Otherwise, if they are offensive, oh, it will burn to us. Burn to ashes means they will be Nirvishesvara. Um, you said that the same guru can nourish different rasas. So the question is, suppose a guru is saying the highest attainment is to become a maidservant of Radhika and then there's somebody else in the audience who has a constitutional form of Dasyaras. Does that mean he won't hear that? He'll hear something else? You should understand by example. Narad Goswami is Guru of Dhruva. He is Guru of Prahlad. He is Guru of Vyaste. Oh, Padmiki. And Chitraketu Maharaj. And it may be that Narad Goswami, in the form of Bilva Mangal, uh, Madhu Mangal, he is really Madhu Mangal. What he can give you can understand. So same Narada Goswami or different disciples according to their stages or he can give something else. No harm. Because he is full. Eh? The Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Sarup Damodar Raya Ramana, they are, they have, oh, that is, uh, Sakhi of Radhika, or maid servant of Radhika. They are full. Even Mahabhav is there. But even a very low stage person can come. They will help. And by their help, he will be like some a stage. He will not be like that. Mahabhav. It may be that he may come to Dasharas. He may come to uh, other verses. Hmm? He may come to, but Guru is same Narad Goswami, Arupa Goswami maybe, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But on the different platform of Bhakti, he can give, he can help. He will, he will sprinkle his mercy according to their stage. Not all that they will be in Mahabharata. He is telling that if Gurudev says the topmost is Radha Dasya and anyone has a desire for Shakyabhav, 
then he will think, if anyone wants to be like Shubal Sridhan or any Shaka, and Gurudev is telling topmost service is Radha Darshan, to become maid servant of Srimati Radhika, then that person who has desire to develop Sakya Bhav, he will think, but for me, topmost is something else. Oh. So that guru will help up, uh, help up to that. And then he will send to seniors, some more those who have uh, uh, Singar Ras or others. He will send. Like Vaishnav Das of Nodi, he sent his two disciples to Puri, <coughs> to whom? There are so many things, so many things. No names announced. Ramayan Das. What you want? Or oh, if you will ask whole day and night so many questions, it will not be finished. Hey Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. in the Lord's feet of my Holy Master, Om Vishnupad, Ashtokta Sishmat Bhakti Prakriyan Keshavaswami Maharaj. And same in the Lord's feet of my Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnupad Sishmat Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. First of all, I want to give my blessings to Jalapat Prabhu, his wife's name, Anuradha, Anuradha his father, that he invited me and all and arranged very beautifully here. 
And also Isha Prabhu. And his wife Gorpriya. And oh his wife? Gorpriya. I don't know all but I know that he should give them my blessings who have helped you. Any more? Oh you want me to? Yes. Those who have helped here in this festival to make it successful. Well, uh, on. Well, the, the person who's made it successful is you, Sri Lanka. <laughs> Our small efforts are nothing compared to the ocean of nectar of the Guru Varga, which is flowing through you and inundating us. Go to there. And on behalf of the devotees in the Alachua Sangha, we want to thank you so much for taking the trouble to come here in spite of health problems to fly such a long way just to help us. You, you. You have, you have, you have not come here for your own comfort. If you wanted comfort, you could stay in Hawaii <laughs> or in a big hotel. Instead, you've come to this very insignificant place which is so far away from Sri Mayapur Dam and Sri Braja Dam. And you've suffered your own discomfort you suffered noise, traveling, so much disturbance. And why? Only for us. Only so we could advance. And for that, I, I thank you so much. And, and you've helped me so much. And you have changed me completely. Well, well, not completely. <laughs> I just can't get no respect. I, you're, you're a work in progress, Jelly. We, we we would like to thank we would like to thank Trilokshan Prabhu, our godbrother, our disciple of Swami Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada from Brazil. For, for, for donating the amplifier, <laughs> the sound system, and for building this wonderful Vyasa san. <laughs> to to Gora Priya Dasi for her for taking charge of the kitchen. I think it's Radha Krishna Das is in the kitchen also. Ram, 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 Ram Krishna Das is in the kitchen. Uh, for Isha Das for taking care of all the devotees and registering them. And, uh, is it, who have I missed? Hari Ram, he got this place. Yes, Hari Rama Prabhu, he found this place for us. Okay. Oh, yes, for Lakshmi Pati Prabhu for so, doing so much work in Guru Dave's garden and to help get our house and ready. Ready. Also for uh, Lilavati, the wife of Sukanta, for coming and cleaning and getting Guru Dave's quarters ready so nicely, and she's still coming. We would like all blessings for Lilavati Prabhu, Lilavati Didi, that she can advance. Shaman Bhima. Shaman Bhima. Ramesh. 
Oh, we would like to thank Ramesh for coming and helping out in the way that he usually helps out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ramesh. We love you. Uh, to Shama Sundar and Bimala for helping. For Divya for helping. For Ramadevi and Aniruddha for helping. For Madhavi for, for doing the... Uh, Srila uh, uh, Gurudev's Vyasa Puja celebration and decorating the hall. Uh, we'd like to uh, thank Lalita Shakti for being the shopper extraordinaire and the driver extraordinaire and the servant extraordinaire. We'd like to thank Anuradha Didi for all of her tireless service, for her shopping, for her planning, for her organization, for organizing the snack bar. We'd like to thank Mohini Didi for operating the snack bar. Now, who have I missed? Yourself. Uh, and yourself. For all the devotees who came to the airport to see Srila Gurudev and help pick up people uh, from Jacksonville, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I forgot Sukhanta Prabhu for doing the t-shirts. Pardon? Vrindavan Chandra Prabhu for being in the kitchen all day. For Krishna Balaram Prabhu for helping in the garden. And if there's anyone that we've missed, Vasanta Prabhu for being the Pajari. Now, we are, we are going to make a preaching center or temple in Alachua, a place where devotees can come and worship and take shelter and we would just like to tell everyone about this plan, and if they can come and help us in any way, please come and help us to do this. I, I just want to say one, one last thing. Why don't work it? Uh, Don't start off with this microphone. I'd, I'd like to say one word about Gurudev's party, the devotees that travel with him, Rajanath Prabhu, and of course, the ever popular and lovable Sripad Bhaktivedanta Madhava Maharaj. I also Tanga Vidya Didi yeah. and Brenda Didi. Pundarik Prabhu and this year Krishna Das. These, these devotees work so hard and they travel from place to place to place. A new place every two or three days. And I know that I owe so much of my spiritual advancement to their blessings upon me. And we've tried to make them very comfortable this year, give them a nice place to stay with all honor and respect and care. Because we know that if we please the devotees, we please the Guru. And as I was saying, more I went to add. I was going to. Shamrani Didi. Shamrani Didi. Blessings to all because they have helped. Oh, I cannot speak so much. So they helped me in so many ways. 
If they were not here, alone I could not have done anything. So they helped me so much, so my heart is blessings to them. Especially to the audience. If we are preacher only and no audience, <laughs> then you can think. So audience are most important. And very mercifully they came and they inspired us to tell Hari Katha. So all glory to Guru, Gaurang and Assemble. I think that most of you will come to Miami. So we started what thing here? It will not be finished. It will take long time. But I wanted to give something. What he discussed here, examples. So that you can understand something. Very easy. Very high subject. Very, very high subject. <coughs> it is beyond the intelligence of any person. Human being. Human being, very intelligent he may be. But if no, I have to keep Kripa. Godless mercy of Guru and Gauran. Oh, he cannot understand. Only knowledge will not do. Only knowledge. So, <coughs> They will continue something in man in continuation of this. Now I want to begin what we have begun. We have explained <coughs> up to Suddha Sattva. This is transcendental thing. It will come only in the stage of Rati. And at that time, you can realize something, a glance of your Siddhade to meditate Ashtakaliya. Before that, you should not draw. You can hear something, but personally, don't go to. Only you can do pranam to. And when naturally, automatic, by chanting, remembering and hearing him Katha, when Asakti will be, and then a thick greed will be there, so much attachment. How attachment? Uh, mamata? Huh? Ananya Mamata Vishnu. Ananya Mamata Vishnu. Mamata Ati Sayam Kita. Bhai Eva Sandratma. So, very high subject. And we have explained so much things that I think that you have never heard in your life. <laughs> So try to not down in your heart. Time to time you should see what was discussed here. So now we are giving some examples that that stays you can understand easily. Suddha <coughs> uh, we have discussed. Now Sanatana Goswami tells that the stages of this Anna Vilasita Sunyam this Bhakti up to Rati we have discussed. Where and in what Bhakta it can be shaped. So Sanatana Goswami has begin from oh, Gyani Bhakta, then Suddha Bhakta. Premi Bhakta, Prempar Bhakta, and Prematur Bhakta. Here, Dhruva 
and others are not taken in Shuddha Bhakti, pure Bhakti. Their Bhakti was Karma Mishra, not pure. So it has been rejected there. Uh, you know, <coughs> Prahlad is, Sri Sri Prahlad Maharaj is Gyani Bhakta. Here, what is the meaning of Gyan and Gyani Bhakta? Can you explain something? Yeah. Microphone. In brief. <laughs> Come on. Microphone, please. <coughs> 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 Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak briefly about the difference between Jnani, a Not Jnani... Not different. What do you mean by Jnan and Jnani Bhakta? Jnan and Jnani Bhakta. You don't mean a Jnani, you mean Jnan. Right? So, <coughs> Sri Prahlad Maharaj is an example of a Jnani Bhakta. Who? He's not a jnani, a plain jnani. That is one who wants to merge in the impersonal Brahma Jyoti. That is mental speculation and imagination. But a jnani bhakta has jnan or knowledge about the supremacy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He knows that the Lord is omnipresent, that he's omniscient, he's self-sufficient. This is a very great quality on one hand. But on the other hand, it is a wall in bhakti. It separates us from an intimate relationship with the Lord. Because Sri Prahlad Maharaj knew that Lord Nishringadev is Bhagavan, his relationship with him was that the Lord is my protector and my maintainer. And my duty and desire is to glorify him. But he could not understand that above the concept of the Lord's being God is that he is the son of Mother Yasoda, he's the beloved, of the gopis, he's the friend of the suckers. He didn't understand that he could have a personal relationship with the Lord in direct service. And therefore, after Lord Nishringadev ripped apart his father, just like a wasp, Prahlad couldn't even think to offer Lord Nishringadev a glass of water. He couldn't think that the Lord maybe is thirsty or that he may be tired, so he never thought to fan him. So in this stage of Jnani Bhakta, although there's great devotion, and Sri Prahlad Maharaj fits the verse of pure devotion as spoken by Sri Kapiladev to his mother, Lakshanam Bhakti Yogasya Nirgunasya Udahrita, this, in this verse, the Lord is saying that by hearing about the Lord's pastimes, form, and name, one's mind immediately becomes attracted to Him, just as the Ganges flows towards the ocean without any impediment. So the mind of the devotee who hears about the Lord flows towards the Lord without any material encumbrance. It flows naturally. So this example or this definition of pure bhakti is fit by Prahlad Maharaj. 
but Srila Gurudev is speaking here about the barometer of the definition of bhakti by Srila Rupa Goswami. Anyagi Lasita Sunyam Gyan. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Okay. Can you explain more about Prahlad Maharaj? Is Mahabhagavat, have you heard? Mahabhagavat. Uttam Bhagavat. So, if he is inferior in any case, very bad thing. So you should reconcile and you can tell something explain about this. He's one of the Mahajan. Mahajan. <clears throat> what is the nature of Prahlad Maharaj? And what is something like this? <coughs> Omijana Timidan Tasya Gyanan Janashalaka Chakshu Navitam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurabi. So Sri Prahlad Maharaj, he is actually a Mahajan. Mahajano Yena Gataksapanta. Longer. <clears throat> he is a great personality whom all of the living entities in this universe can actually follow his example, and the example that he showed in his devotion to Sri Bhagavan, Lord Nishringadev, coming in the form of Nishringa Bhagavan. He exhibited complete dependency upon Bhagavan. He had this particular quality that in any circumstance, uh, regardless of how dangerous that circumstance was, that his life was being threatened, that his father was trying to kill him by administering poison, by throwing him from the tops of mountains, by uh, dashing him underneath the feet of elephants, and in so many other ways, his own father was trying to end his life. But in all circumstances, Prahlad Maharaj was completely fearless and not at all afraid or disturbed because he exhibited this quality of accepting fully that the Lord is his guardian, and complete dependency on Krishna. So this particular quality within the realm of bhakti is a very superior quality. It is very uh, uh, a laudable quality which without this quality uh, the, the devotee cannot advance in the realm of pure bhakti. But yet, uh, Prahlad Maharaj, as Srimati Shamarani Didi was describing, Prahlad Maharaj had a conception of the supremacy, the supreme Aishwarya, the nature of Bhagavan being all-powerful, all-great. And that uh, there is no need to render intimate loving service to satisfy him. Because of this kind of distancing, Prahlad Maharaj was not able to approach Lord Nishringadev with this mood of mamata, minus. Uh, actually feeling that he is depending upon me. In Braj Bhakti, in the realm of Vrindavan, all of the residents there have no conception at all that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that he's all-powerful, he's the creator of everything, that he's completely self-satisfied, Atma Ram. They think quite the opposite, that he's a tiny little boy, he's completely dependent upon us. Mother Yashoda is thinking, if I don't feed Krishna, then he will die. Because of this kind of mood, the, the exalted nature of their Braja Prem, they constantly feel that they must serve Krishna to satisfy his needs, to satisfy all of his desires. And they feel that Krishna is dependent upon them. But Prahlad Maharaj did not have this particular quality because of this knowledge of Bhagavan's greatness and his supremacy. So this, this nature of being a Jnani Bhakta, of having this kind of knowledge, it does not mean, like in, in the example of Anya Vilashita Sunyam Jnana Karmadya Navritam. Here, uh, Rupa Goswami is telling that pure Bhakti cannot be covered by Jnana because this is a flaw to pure bhakti. But this type of jnana is referring to impersonal jnana, not to the jnana, not to the knowledge of the Aishwarya, of the supreme opulence of the Lord. 
So Prahlad Maharaj had this kind of jnana and he was a Siddha Bhakta. He was a perfected soul. Huh? So he had direct darshan of Bhagavan and Bhagavan came to save him. So this kind of uh, lacking in the devotee, it is, it is the uh, limitation which does not enable him to approach the higher realms of bhakti, coming into the realm of Shuddha Bhakta, coming into the realm of Premi Bhakta, and uh, Prem Para Bhakta, and Prem Atur Bhakta, which will be described by Srila Sanatana Goswami as we study this subject matter through our Srila Gurudev. So it is essential to understand what is the thing that is lacking, and what, uh, by having more elements added to their bhakti, how this bhakti deepens and becomes more and more pure and more and more intimate. You should know that what is jnana? The jnana of tatpadartha, tvang padartha, and a jiv aikya bhakti. Jiv brahmaikya bhakti. Jiv brahmaikya bhakti. There are three kinds of knowledge. You know that Jiv Brahma Aikiba covers Bhakti. So it has been rejected here. That is Nirvishishya. They have explained. But Tatpadartha again, what is that? Tatpadartha. Knowing that Krishna. Uh, sarva karana karana. Ishwara Parma Krishna Satchidananda Vigra. Anadi Radhi. Sarva karana. So Krishna here is Sarva karana. He has formed transcendental and all point, all endless transcendental qualities he has. Especially for Madhu. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is Krishna. This is the Tat Padartha again. And Tvam? Oh. Like Krishna Chit Surya. Transcendental Sun. He is particles in his race in Sun. Same, or like particles of his Shakti, minute, what? Atoms. Atoms in Krishna power, Tatashta Shakti, e.g. And he is Nityada, eternal Krishna Das. Or this is Tam Padartha Jiva Brahma again, it covers bhakti. But the, in the beginning, Tatpadatha again and Tom Padatha again, they never cover and they help in beginners, for beginner shadows. And that is why Prahlad Maharaj's life and his teachings are very nearer to us. Because we are sadhana. <coughs> it is very hard to go beyond this. So, Srila Prabhupada is used to read over oh, 108 times. And all have told that, oh, we should read. Because Sramadam, Kirtanam, he has begun this path. And he never wanted anything, as he told. So, these are bhakti abhirodhi. Abhirodhi means? It's not against the principles of bhakti. Hmm. That is abhirodhi. Not favorable and not uh, detrimental. Hmm. Neutral. Neutral. So, his bhakti is pure. Pralad Don't think it is mixed. 
pure bhakti. But only some lacking is that as for Jimmy. Uh, mixed with opulence, opulence knowledge. Opulence knowledge. Oh, he can pray his Prabhu. What can I serve? Only glorification he can chant, remember, meditate. But like a Prabhu, he told that he has no mamata. Not minus. Minus, so much. Like Brajabhasis. Like Ajodhyabhasis. Not minus. And this minus will be half part. Oh, very deep minus. That Krishna is mine. And he is uh, a servant of the Krishna manif one of the manifestation, not direct. But in his link. So he is Jnani Bhakta. Pure Bhakta. But having some mixture of affluence here. As he told, oh, that Prabhu has no appetite, no thirst, no tiredness, nothing. How anyone can serve? So, this is lightness. <laughs> when it will cover by Yoga Maya, that is why Swamiji came, by Sitya Guru, to tell that Krishna is Supreme Lord. But by his order I came to mm. tell you Try to forget. <laughs> forget that Krishna is Supreme Lord. I have come to tell that Krishna is only a baby of Yasoda Maya. <laughs> Alone he cannot turn over. No? He cannot take, go to mother and take me. So, just always such, like ignorant boy. Loki, Buddha. So, Prahlad Maharaj, I know. So, we are going more further. Hivasi Dhyazito, Ambarish Maharaj, Suddha you can express your, explain about Ambarish Maharaj. Why he is called Suddha Bhavita? And his bhakti is superior than Prahlad Maharaj. Though he is sadha. Try to understand. If you are not understanding, you may question. Om Gyan.